Coming up on Cedar Valley Today, we'll take a look at what the Warburg community thinks of the raise in college tuition. And learn how one group of students here in Waverly is connecting with those across the world. And Cindy Ecker is here with flower arrangements perfect for Valentine's Day. All that and more coming up on Cedar Valley Today. Hello and welcome to Cedar Valley Today. I'm Kelsey Bemis. And I'm Nicole Lyons. It's a topic that has had students at Wartburg talking since Friday. Cedar Valley Today's Ashley, joins, uh, Ashley Davis joins us now to tell us what all goes into the making of the decision to increase tuition. Thanks, Nicole. It's inevitable that every year students at Wartburg College will receive an email from President Colson bearing news that they aren't all that thrilled to hear. $42,905. That's the current price of tuition, student fees, room, and board at Wartburg College. It sounds like a lot of money until you hear what the 2014 to 2015 academic year is going to cost. In an email sent out Friday, students found out this figure would be increasing to $45,040. I don't like to pay more ever really for anything because What's going to change that, that's making me pay more? Like, why am I paying more? Like, what am I getting out of it? I so often hear, um, oh, I'm paying $45,000. Well, not really. So what is the reasoning for an increase of the cost of a Wartburg education? We recognize that costs go up in the world, right? Milk costs more, gasoline costs more, and education costs more. Healthcare costs more. And all those things impact an institution as well. And unlike public colleges and universities, private colleges have to raise and earn the money they need to operate. We clearly do look at all the sources uh, that we can for potential revenue and try and keep things as balanced as we can. Um, the reality is we're a, we're a not-for-profit, and so we're really only looking to bring in the revenue that we absolutely have to to cover the expenses of an education. So primarily that's tuition. For the academic year of 2009 to 2010, the total cost of tuition, student fees, room, and board was $35,065, which puts the increase over the past five years at about 18%. So what does this mean for the future of students? If you look at it from our perspective now, 20 years out, what that would be at a 3 to 5% increase every year, which is kind of what's been happening in recent years, that, that's scary. But but I think it's not realistic. So you have to sort of adjust your thinking on that and say, okay, well, let's do some projections for what a house will cost then, um, what earnings will be then, you know, and are those still in relation to one another? And as long as they're still in relation to one another, there isn't that much to be afraid of. Now tuition for the upcoming academic year has increased by 4.97%. This tops the previous year when tuition increased by 4.51%. Back to you, Kelsey. Thanks, Ashley. The Wartburg College Student Senate debate was held last night to discuss the platforms of the two parties. Nicole Harrison and Avery Mason plan on improving not only communication, but the bonds between all people on campus. Through this, they hope campus will be more united. Jacob Martin and Terry Mueller hope to involve student body opinion, improve cross-curricular and extracurricular relations for students, and improve residence halls and facilities within. I think our involvement, I think just the relationships we've built previously, and uh, you know we can build off those relationships to you know, further I our ideas and you know get things done and implement them. We have a lot of experience collectively in student senate and as leaders, just in general, on a lot of different organizations, including student senate. I would also agree that our experience, along with our, our general passion, which I do believe the other ticket shares, but just from the array of activities that we are involved in also. A new scholarship will be offered at Warper College next fall. The Nadi Perum Washington, D.C. Exponential Learning Scholarship will allow students to travel to Washington, D.C. for an internship. A by Nadi Perum, the scholarship's found, founder, says that the inspiration for the scholarship came from his own experience in D.C. 
it opened up a lot of doors in, in other ways as well. Um, I had a lot of, I just made a lot of friends out there. And when I was applying for jobs um, after, after law school, I was able to tap a lot of those resources and get recommendations and, and maybe even go out there and work. So I realized that that one summer actually opened up a lot of doors for me. The Waverly Health Center Foundation has reached the halfway mark on their goal of building a new health facility. The foundation's capital campaign committee announced it has raised over $300,000 to fund a 3,500 square foot expansion of the Christoffel Clinic and relocation of cardiac rehabilitation services. The capital campaign goal is $745,000. And now we'll turn to Cedar Valley Today's Elizabeth Jewett to take a first look at our forecast. What do you have in store for us? Thanks, Nicole. We're actually looking at another cold day today with the high of only being about six degrees. Starting out at 8 a.m., it's only gonna be a high of about two. And then as we move on to about noon, it's still gonna be pretty cloudy out with a high of only about five degrees. And then as we move in towards the evening at 5 p.m., it's only gonna be about a high of three. And then as we move on to tomorrow, it's gonna be even colder than it will be today, but a little bit sunnier, so don't let that deceive you. We're gonna start out at about 8 a.m the high of only negative 14 degrees. And as we move on to noon, it's only gonna be about a high of negative four. And then as we move on to about 5 p.m., it's only gonna be about a high of one degree. So make sure you bundle up. It's gonna be another cold one. A little chilly. Of little course, chilly staying today. cold. Of course. <laughs> All right, thank you, Elizabeth. Now a local sixth grade class is learning about another culture in an unusual way. Cedar Valley Today's Jesse Kielman shares how this class is getting a lesson in friendship. Sixth graders at St. Paul's Lutheran School are reaching across the world. The students have started corresponding with children in Hungary. The Hungarian students are being taught by missionaries that St. Paul sponsors, which is how the students were able to connect. The students were eager to share their culture. They even made a YouTube video showcasing the students and their school. They hope to learn more about the lives of the Hungarian friends. Although the students want to learn how the cultures differ, school principal Stacy Snyder says she wants both sets of students to learn how their lives are the same that they have their enthusiasm for learning and they appreciate their Christian atmosphere to have school. I think that what I understand about the school in Hungary, it's the same. And so I think they have the same level of opportunities anyway for their belief and their faith to be part of their learning process. The St. Paul students are including illustrations with their letters because the Hungarian students are just learning English. The video made by St. Paul students is available online at the Whitbrook Circuit. For Cedar Valley Today, I'm Jesse Kielman. Coming up, we'll tell you what you should know about the Cedar Valley Manufacturing Conference. And all you need to know what around the world in today's top five. See you in two The Waverly Chamber of Commerce is proud to support these local businesses. PDCM Insurance, Waverly Light and Power, and Angie Chaplin Leadership Partners. The Waverly Chamber of Commerce, a Main Street community. Being involved in a robbery is 1 in 757. The chances of being struck by lightning is 1 in 750,000. Please fasten your seat belts for unexpected turbulence. The chances of being a victim in an airline crash, 1 in 29 million. Hey, could I get some peanuts? The chances of being involved in a car crash are far greater than lightning strikes and plane crashes. And if you are texting while driving, your risk of crash increases 23 times. Now I may be an unlucky guy, but I don't have to be part of that statistic, and neither do you. Drive responsibly. Support for Wartburg Television comes from East Bremer Diner located at 117 East Bramer Avenue. 
or contact by phone at 319-352-2455. Welcome back to Cedar Valley Today. A 14-year-old is being hailed a hero in Illinois today after his saving his nephew's life. The sounds of gunshots woke up the boy Sunday night when he saw his, and then he saw his stepdad with a gun. After he wrestled the gun away from his stepdad, he grabbed his 5-year-old nephew and ran out of the house. Unfortunately, his mother and two of his siblings were killed in the shooting. At least 15 are dead after a volcano in Indonesia erupted on Sunday. Rescue workers are unable to continue with recovery efforts today because of what of the dangers of a still going near a still bubbling volcano. Thousands have been evacuated since September when the volcano first roared back to life after years of inactivity. And four are dead after a small plane crashed near a YMCA in Nashville, Tennessee on Monday. The crash happened just south of John C. Toon Airport. Officials say some cars were damaged in the crash, but no injuries were reported on the ground. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. And President Obama wants students to be more connected digitally. Yesterday, he introduced a new education program called Connect Ed. The program would include iPads, laptops, and free wireless internet service for middle schools. Companies including Verizon, Sprint, Microsoft, and Apple have already pledged millions of dollars to extend digital learning in classrooms. And Google has gotten itself into some hot water. Google doesn't have the proper permits to build a four-story showroom barge off the coast of San Francisco. The barge would be an interactive space showcasing showcasing Google's new technology. Without the proper permits, Google will, for now, have to move the barge. And coming up after the break, Eckers Flowers stops by to show you ideas for Valentine's Day. And coverage of today's weather for you after the break. We'll be right back in two minutes. Take my hand and start a brand new day. And together as one Underneath everything we are, underneath everything we do, we are all people, connected, interdependent, united. And when we reach out a hand to one, we can influence the condition of all. That's what it means to live united. Closer to nature can get you closer to your family. Go to discovertheforest.org. A few decisions in life are big. Your first car, your dream home, your career, who to share your life with. The best choices feel right in your heart and make sense in your head. Choosing a college belongs on that list too. These big decisions, the life changers, are best when they promise dependability, stability, and possibility. Wartburg College promises all three. Like the mighty fortress for which it's named, Wartburg has weathered the storms and withstood the test of time. When others falter, Wartburg builds anew. When uncertainty rocks the world, Wartburg stands strong. When others lose their way, Wartburg remembers its core values. Do something right for your head and your heart. Choose Wartburg College. Leadership, service, faith, learning. Wartburg College, online at wartburg.edu. We're going to start off with our national weather today. Starting off in Seattle, we're going to see about a high of about 35 degrees. In LA, we're going to see a high of about 62. Denver is going to be a bit chillier with a high of only about 7 degrees. As we move on to Chicago, we're going to see only a high of about 25 degrees. New York is going to be about 35 degrees. Washington, D.C., about 45. As we move on to Houston, it's going to be a little bit chillier for them at 52 degrees. And then Miami, it's going to be a nice warm 75 degrees. And for our statewide weather, we're looking at some pretty cold temperatures uh, throughout the state. Uh, A lot of them are in the low single digits with Sioux City Council Bluffs and Des Moines with only a high of about 7 degrees. 
Mason City is going to be the coldest out of the cities on this map with only a high of about three degrees. Waterloo is looking at a high of about six. And then Cedar Rapids is only going to be about 11 degrees. And Dubuque is going to be about 14, so they're going to be a little warmer, but it's still going to be chillier throughout the state. And for our weekend forecast, on Friday, we're going to be looking at a little bit warmer than we have seen today at about a high of 16. Saturday, we're, it's going to be a little cloudier with a high of 17. And then Saturday, we're only looking at about a high of 6 degrees. So back to you guys. Thank you, Elizabeth. With Valentine's Day coming up, many people are on the hunt for the perfect flower arrangement for their special someone. Cindy Ecker from Ecker's Flowers is here to share some of her arrangements for sale at the shop. Now, what type of flower arrangements do you have for sale during Valentine's Day? We have everything. I mean, everything from very small to very large and big statement pieces, and in a variety of colors and types of flowers. Okay. All right, and what are, will you have some uh, deals or sales throughout the week for Valentine's Kinda Day? Kind of hard to come up with a deal or sale at Valentine's Day. Uh, prices increase, and of course, you're just talking about tuition going up, and at Valentine's Day, falls in the middle of winter when it is the coldest and so it's really difficult for all the growers and everything to get flowers to come on. There's more expense invited uh, that goes along with that. Now what we do though is try to offer affordable things. I mean you can get a carnation for a dollar and a half, long lasting fragrant flower. Uh, roses are more expensive. We always feature this is our, our signature bouquet here. It's called Roses and More. And as you girls can see, it features beautiful roses surrounded by other long-lasting flowers. And so this is more affordable than if you were looking for a dozen roses. The shorter the stems, the longer the flowers last because the closer they are to the water. So this is a great deal. Uh, and then you don't have to get something large. We have here, let me move our little tiger, <laughs> we're wild about you guy, and show you our little we're ape over you. And this is a break from color. I mean, we think of red and pink, purples to be the colors of Valentine's Day, but you can do oranges and, and uh, other colors, yellows, to uh, it's do something nice and bright. Now, I see you have some things here besides flowers for Valentine's Day. Mm -hmm. What kind of things do you have? Well, we carry a number of gifts. Uh, this little ladybug sits in a, in a mug, although you could have flowers or a plant in there as well. And it has a coordinating I love you balloon. Uh, we also have, and this of course features water, or uh, flowers, uh, the mustache mug. And the mustache is a real big. And we have a balloon that goes, I must have you as my valentine. And so that's a nice little keepsake gift. Lots of stuffed animals. Uh, we've got little puppies, and uh, there are bears and dogs and uh, wild animals. I think we have, besides the tiger, uh, we have lions as well. And you talked a little bit about the cold weather mm -hmm. and, you know, kind of the problems yeah. there. Some of these look like they would be more spring or more kind of summer flowers. Are these popular this time of year? Absolutely. I think we're all feeling pretty desperate. <laughs> I like winter. I like uh, snow. But I'll tell you, these bitter temperatures and winds have really worn me out. So the, the daffodils, this is the Tay to Tay daffodil. It's a miniature daffodil, and it'll bloom for weeks. Also have tulips. And if you're getting this for your mom or someone, these bulbs can be planted in the yard and will come back. Okay, and can you run us through kind of um, flower arrangements versus, you know, a bouquet of flowers? What's kind of the difference there versus prices and that kind of thing? Well, bouquets, uh, if you're talking about the, like what we call our grab-and-go bouquets, where they have the mixed flowers and someone can arrange them, which a lot of people like to do in their own vases, you know, those will start anywhere from six ninety nine. Uh, cut flower arrangements through Valentine's Day, we like to suggest anywhere from $25. But you can get little bud vases anywhere from $10 on up. And so, you know, you've got a wide variety of prices. And if something is arranged, then we have professional designers and they have put the flowers in position for you in the arrangement and then you could just give them as a gift. Okay, and you mentioned this was a traditional one mm -hmm. for every Valentine's Day. What are some of the newer products you have this year? Well, this is just one that we feature because it is a combative to feeling like you have to give yourself or give someone a dozen roses. But there are other uh, features, and we're still working on some of those. That's the thing about the artistic vein is that a lot of this stuff, as the product comes in, then we put it together. We're actually waiting on uh, some high heel bud vases. They're darling, but they're not here yet. I was hoping to bring one with me this morning. So there's a variety of different containers. There's baskets and glass vases and colors and a number of things. Flowers are always the focus, though. <laughs> and would you um, recommend 
a potted plant versus a bouquet like in a this type of thing? No, you know what? When we talk to our customers on the phone, we try to feel them out and find out what's, what, the, what the person that they're sending to is mm -hmm. going to really like. Mm -hmm. uh, both are good. I mean, the, the potted flowers, this is just a small sample. We wouldn't be able to fill the room here because <laughs> there's azale azaleas and hydrangeas and begonias, African violets, and they're large, small. Kind of depends on who's receiving it and who's giving it. Mm -hmm. okay. And how can people order their flowers and how early should they do that? We suggest earlier the better. I mean we have all of our orders in for our flowers and those will start coming in here fairly soon. But there's the production time. So earlier, if you know you want to send, please give us a call right away. But we'll do things right up on Valentine's Day for people who walk in. We're all prepared for that and ready to go. <laughs> Alright, so you can do late. Time. Late or early and you can order online, you can call us on the phone and we always invite you to stop in. If you get a break and want to come in, you can really give yourself some mental therapy by taking a walk through the greenhouse. I, I imagine, I've been yes. there actually. Yeah, it feels pretty good. <laughs> Alright, thank you very much. Now again, you can pick up flowers from Acker's Flower Shop, Acker's Flower Shop anytime between 8 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. Monday through Fridays. They are also open Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. And coming up next in sports, another overtime affair for the Warburg and Buena Vista women's basketball teams. With this Mallory one ending in a dramatic fashion. I'm one on Lucky Guy. The chance of being involved in a robbery is 1 in 757. The chances of being struck by lightning... 1 in 750,000. Please fasten your seatbelts for unexpected turbulence. The chances of being a victim in an airline crash? 1 in 29 million. Hey, could I get some peanuts? The chances of being involved in a car crash are far greater than lightning strikes and plane crashes. And if you are texting while driving, your risk of crash increases 23 times. Now, I may be an unlucky guy, but I don't have to be part of that statistic, and neither do you. Drive responsibly. Welcome back to Cedar Valley Today, I'm Nathan Ford. It's getting tougher to separate the Warburg and Buena Vista women's basketball teams and they provided the latest example Saturday. After the night's stolen overtime game in Storm Lake the week before, Saturday's game at Levick Arena turned into another thriller. Knights led it 29-25 at the break thanks in part to this tremendous Chelsea Wedeking pass to Mary Brown for the layup. And early in the second half, Buena Vista's Lexi Fisher nails the three-pointer. Beavers up by as many as nine in the second half. Then Bobby Burrow scores seven straight points, including her first of three trays here to cut the lead to two. Knights eventually take the lead. Now under a minute left, Shelby Wiederhoff scoops the ball up off the court, converts the three-point play. BV's up two, but Burrows answers again. She's fouled in the lane, hits two free throws. Now in overtime, the Knights down two before Alyssa Sager scores. Ties the, ties the game at 70, and then Warburg has a chance to, to win it, but Burroughs has her shot blocked, and Sydney Beckman drops in the three as time expires for an exhilarating Buena Vista victory. Burroughs finished with 17 points after scoring just two in the first half, and Sager also contributed 17. 
The Knights have fallen to 2-6 and six in Iowa Conference play and are tied for 6 with Luther. Dubuque comes to town tonight for a 6 p.m. tip that can be seen on night vision. A week and a half before Saturday's Warburg men's basketball game against Buena Vista, Nick Clark hit seven threes and scored 29 points against the Knights in a 12-point win. On Saturday, Warburg shut him down, but it didn't matter on the scoreboard. In first half action, it's Grady Gallagher spotting up. Maybe. Not yet, I guess. We'll move on to a uh, track where two Iowa Conference or two Warburg athletes were named Athletes of the Week by the Iowa Conference. Hattie Vodder on the running side won both the 800 meter run and the mile, and then Kayla Heeman uh, won the weight throw and the shot put. Both of them named Iowa Conference Indoor Track Athletes of the Week. We don't have the men's basketball highlights for you, but if you go to WarburgCircuit.org, promise they'll be on there. The Knights lose 79-62 to fall to 4-4 four and four in the Iowa Conference, and they host Dubuque tonight as well on Night Vision at 8. All right, so you have a couple Night Vision um, things events, coming up. Events, thank you. Coming up, what are those? Well, obviously tonight's basketball doubleheader against Dubuque. That's at 6. And then tomorrow, uh, the Battle of the Bergs and Wrestling in Wartburg and Augsburg at 7 o'clock. And now with the games this weekend, the women went up till the end again in that overtime, and the men kind of saw Kind of a hearty defeat there, I guess. So what's up next for those two teams? Well, big challenges tonight against Dubuque. The men uh, face a, a team that's leading the Iowa Conference at 18-1, and one, and the women play a team that's tied for third at 5-3. and three. So big challenges at home. Wins could, could be huge statements for both teams. And how's the wrestling team outlook? <laughs> Number one in the nation still, still undefeated. No one's really come that close to them, and Augsburg's kind of having a down year, but... Anytime those two meet up, you never know what could happen. And so. you mentioned track. What's up next for them? Uh, women are ranked number one. Men are ranked 14th. And they host. They have another home meet on Friday, actually, one of the few teams at home this weekend. So, uh, And the only team in action on Friday, the Warburg Twilight. Some really good teams are coming to uh, Hoover Fieldhouse for that one. So if you get a chance, make sure you check that one out. And so. what are some games coming up to watch? Uh, obviously, the debut games tonight. Then uh, Saturday, uh, both basketball teams are in, are in action at Loris, and I don't know if anyone watched the Loris games from last week, but the men's game went into double overtime. That was a really exciting game, so that could be in store for another one on Saturday. Okay, and switching, we also have tennis, is that correct, coming yep, up? Yep, men's tennis on Saturday at 2. They had their home opener on Sunday, a 7-2 victory over Edgewood, and then uh, Saturday they'll be playing Grandview. All right, All right thank, thank you, Nathan. You. And coming up after the break, um, We'll give you a look at what you can expect to see in Friday's show, and we'll give you a final look at your weather. We'll be right back. Waverly Area Economic Development invites you to check out why their motto is green and growing. With our strong labor force, excellent schools, and innovative manufacturing facilities, it's no wonder why Bremer County has the second lowest unemployment rating in Iowa. Waverly Economic Development. I'm one on Hockey Guide. The chance of being involved in a robbery is 1 in 757. The chances of being struck by lightning... 1 in 750,000. Please fasten your seatbelts for unexpected turbulence. The chances of being a victim in an airline crash? 1 in 29 million. Hey, could I get some peanuts? The chances of being involved in a car crash are far greater than lightning strikes and plane crashes. And if you are texting while driving, your risk of crash increases 23 times. Now I may be an unlucky guy, but I don't have to be part of that statistic, and neither do you. Drive responsibly. Underneath everything we are, underneath everything we do, we are all people, connected, interdependent, united. And when we reach out a hand to one, we can influence the condition of all. That's what it means to live united. Rack em Up Promotions has a full line of promotional items. They carry corporate as well as team and spirit apparel. If you're looking for something different, Check us out. And 
we'll take a final look at our weather. Thank you, Nicole. We're going to go ahead and look at our weather for today. Uh, we're gonna, it's going to be pretty cloudy throughout the day again. Uh, we're not looking at any snow for the rest of the day, but it's going to be about a high of only 6 degrees starting out the morning at only a high of 2. Then as we move on to about noon, we're only going to see about a high of 5 degrees. Then we're also, as we look on, we're going to go ahead and move on to our uh, five day. Actually, we're going to bring it back to you guys. All right. Thank, thank you so you. much. We'll see you again on Friday.